Have you ever thought that where is the world we live in? The universe that we live in? You may say this is obvious. Our world is planet Earth, with the moon around it, with other planets circling around our sun, in our galaxy, with many other galaxies, solar systems, and millions of stars. It is true, but what is the size of our world? What is the size of the universe? It is beyond our imagination. Maybe we never find out where it ends. Maybe we can say it's endless. And in this endless universe, we live in a country, in a city, in a house, a human. What about the human? What are we? Many people believe that human is made of flesh, bones, and skin. We have a brain, two hands, two legs, and so on. But many others believe in another point of view that sees human as more than just flesh. Besides the physical body, we have other bodies like mental body, psychological body, emotional body, and many more different bodies. For example, like chakra that is thought to be an energy point or node in the subtle body, like acupuncture points in acupuncture treatments that deal with pathways of energy called meridians through the life energy body, or like layers of aura energy field that every layer presents different body. You can also see these layers on Krillian photography. Maybe these layers, or I can say these bodies, are continuously extended and we haven't discovered them all, and we don't know how far they are extended. What if bodies are endless, like the universe? What if our bodies extended as far as the universe? If we assume that, then we can ask, are we inside the universe, or is the universe inside of us? The point is, what is the real image we have of ourselves in the universe? How much do we really know about ourselves? Let me tell you a story. The story of the elephant in the darkness. A long time ago, there were three people that have never seen an elephant in their life, and they are desperate to find out what an elephant looks like. They travel very far to reach a city so they can see an elephant. By the time they arrive, it was late at night and dark. And because they were very excited to find out what the elephant looks like, they didn't wait. They enter a dark room to discover the elephant. They know the elephant is there, but they just couldn't see it. The first person approaches the elephant and touches the elephant's leg and said, an elephant is like a pillar. The second person touches the back of the elephant and said, an elephant is like a cushion. And finally, the third person touches the elephant's ear and says, an elephant is like a fan. All three of them were right in some way, but neither of them had the complete image of an elephant. The image we have from the human is also the same. Doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, meditation instructors, therapists, all understand human from their own point of view, but not the whole picture. For example, sickness. If a human has different bodies, disturbance in any of those bodies is called sickness. In medical science, disturbance in the physical body. In psychology, disturbance in the mental body. In polarity therapy, disturbance in the polarity field. In homeopathy, defected cellular intelligence. Conflict in molecular frequency in cymatic therapy. Blocked channels in chakra and acupuncture therapy. All see the human form in their own perspective. An elephant in the darkness. Of course, all human parts are connected to each other and disturbance in one is going to affect another. But the question is, is there any point of view that can cover all the human aspects and bodies? A perspective that can show the whole picture about human. The bigger picture, maybe as big as the universe. Interuniversal perspective. I am not sure, but definitely it has to be far greater than an intelligent human or an intelligent consciousness maybe an intelligent interuniversal consciousness. Does this video solve any of your questions about human or just add some more? Please let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for upcoming videos.